Okay, sorry, I have to restart my thing. Um, let me say this about the deep fake situation. Um, as we all know, the guy off of Twitch streaming, um, he was caught doing some watching some deep, um, deep fake, um, prawn, um, and a lot of people are getting on his neck about it. Listen, I'm trying to tell you guys when it comes to I'll I'll just not say it for now, but when it comes to the hub, if y'all know what it means, of course there's gonna be people who look at deep fakes and um who are gonna want to see certain streamers um who don't you know uh, sexualize their content and they want to see them in a certain light. Okay, it's the same thing they've been doing with celebrities for years. Um, so am I surprised that this Twitch streamer really got caught up in this world of <laughs> The hub i don't even think it's like to the point where we should like i don't want to embarrass the man when you're caught up in addiction you're gonna look at that kind of stuff and i feel sorry for him because he has to get on here and explain himself um and as far as i don't know if he's been like adamantly against it or why people are on him so hard about it that happens there's a ton of men who look at the hub there's a ton of men who look at deep fakes of women there's a ton of men who look at uh anime prawn and look at all these other types of versions of things it's not it shouldn't be shocking that that happens um i'm hoping he actually does get help now what was sad about it is that it was apparent that his wife was upset about it this is what i try to tell you people like if you just go look at the statistics you know what i do need i do need to make a video on statistics when it comes to this kind of stuff because i can go i can just give you all a website and you can find out all the stuff you need to know uh, I'll probably start putting it in my YouTube videos, uh, my description, but the more you look at that kind of stuff, the worse it gets though your relationship. And this is so dumb. This is what some people think. And I'm not calling y'all dumb. It's the kind of stuff that get y'all. It's the kind of stuff that get y'all to, they say to get y'all trapped. If you look at the hub every day, even if you look at it by yourself, you're more likely it's one of the sec. I think it's the second leading factor to ruining a relationship. And if you look at it together, if you and your wife or you and your significant other look at the hub together, you're like three times as likely to uh, get divorced or break up. It, it's a fantasy. It's a fantasy. You should never learn how to be intimate with your partner from the hub because the hub isn't showing you real life. First of all, you don't know what you're looking at. As much as I want to say, hey, all these people are doing it willingly, willingly. There's just too many numbers, too many stories, and too many things, and too many facts that shows us that the people who are in that industry, most of them didn't even know they were getting into that. A lot of them didn't know they were getting into that. Uh, some of them may have given up all their morals and they want to corruptly do it. But think about that. They have to give up all the morals to do it. So it doesn't make you right to look at it. It's just a dehumanizing thing. It just breaks people down into body parts. All the women you look at and all the men you look at on that thing, I guarantee you can't name not any of them any of them except for the really famous ones and even the famous ones have come out and say how bad it is so most of the women and men you're looking at you don't know their names you don't know their backstories all you know is they got this body part you like to look at think about it when you look at the hub it just makes you more animalistic and that's what happened to this twist streamer he got caught up people people and i hate that people are having to make fun of him um I, it's not like i hear people just in his like just tearing him apart but there are people who are millions of people who are, every time they watch him now they're gonna rip him to shreds every time they get in his streams listen i haven't even said anything yet in my streams and people get on me in my streams and i like if i unbanned all the people who talk about me they would come in here right now and just talk smack about me so i can't even imagine what it'd be like to get caught doing something like that and then just have everybody rip through you because here's the thing about addiction guys it happens to a lot of us okay i'm not here to say when i get on and i'm perfect that if i was to be on my tabs one day who knows i may have a slip up i may have a time of weakness and something pops up i don't know i'm not here to be a perfect man but i think when you're opening about it and say i have a problem i'm dealing with this it's a struggle for me i'm not gonna sit here and lie to you guys i struggle with this and now that's something he can do he can now come out and say hey man i struggle I, I don't this ain't easy for me um, it's just like when some people get caught on camera arguing with their boyfriend or girlfriend after they put up all these pictures of their happiness and then one of them finally gets filmed yelling at the other other and one of them gets uh 
gets caught being like really mean or something or breaking uh civil uh breaking plates in the kitchen or something you know what i mean it's be it's it's, it's because if you put on a fake facade that you're this person people are waiting for you to fall if you're a couple channel which i don't agree with i don't think you should be ever be a couple channel because you don't ever want to put your personal life out there for people to see first of all what you're putting out on youtube is more than likely fake okay you don't want to put out something that's not real so there's no reason to put your whole relationship out there you don't need to put out there your struggles and you getting mad at each other you, also you don't need to put out a facade that oh 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 man we're, we're, we're perfect we're great you see these pictures of us on our internet don't do that either you know just be as real as you can um so for this young man who got caught up looking at a deep fake of not <laughs> I'm not even going to go into all what he was looking at because it's really not that important. I'm not trying to shame him. But I'm only chuckling because it's like, I know the feeling, dude. And I'm so sorry for you, man. I'm so sorry for you that you're caught in the grip of addiction and now it got displayed to the whole world. And that's the hard thing about being an addict. It's a matter of time before it gets pushed out to the whole world. It's very hard to stop your addiction from getting put out on display eventually. If you're addicted to smoking weed, it's a matter of time before people start noticing you're high in your streams. If you're addicted to alcohol, it's a matter of time before people are going to realize you drink a lot in your videos or you, you get drunk a lot. People are going to start to take on. If you're a sex addict, it's going to be a matter of time. It's going to be a matter of time before somebody outs you. Some girl's going to say something about <laughs> something about you, right? And if you're a, 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 if you're addicted to the hub, it's a matter of time before a tab pops up. It's, and I, th I heard somebody say like, well, he should have just used another computer. No, this is a good thing. It's not a bad thing. What people are making it out is a bad thing that he got caught. And I understand that he was looking at some stuff that was reprehensible. Nonetheless, this is the kind of stuff that gets you, that brings you closer to changing your life. This is what we call rock bottom. And this is maybe what he needed. He needed to get caught. Now he needs to stop focusing on streaming and start focusing on his wife and focusing on getting that part of his life together. And you know what sucks? I think he's a full-time streamer. So he's going to have to take a hit monetarily. You know what I'm saying? I think he had to walk away from his business. He's going to have to do that, but that's okay. As long as you don't end it that way, my dude, just don't end like that. We all fall. Some of us may have some a big fall but you know what man at the end of the day people are going to forget about this yeah there's going to be some strolls and some people are going to make fun of you but what you really need to do is don't worry about getting past this you really need to focus on this because if you're that addicted to where you had it open on your tabs meaning that more than likely you were looking at it right before you got on stream you need some help okay if you're looking at a period you need help but it, if it's the fact that before you even hopped on stream you were probably looking at it yeah man you didn't even think about closing it. That's how deep you were in it. So you need to go get help and take your time. It's going to take, it's going to take a year or two. It's not You're not going to get over it in a couple of months. You're not, you're not. Nobody gets over addiction in a month or two. That's why when you see somebody go to a 30 day rehab, the vast majority of them don't make it. It takes time after that. You have to go through a 30 day rehab. Then you have to start going to meetings. Then you have to start attending your local whatever you know what i mean local church or something like that or going to talk to your friends locally and then maybe a year later you can start living life and you can finally breathe again and then another year after that you can finally start teaching and helping people and then another year after that you may start feeling the thoughts again and it starts getting super hard and then the year after that you know what i'm saying it could be 10 years down the road it takes one slip up and you're right back in it you hear that all the time you hear that about people who overdose they take one lick of that drug one smoke and they're so far back into it it's like they never stopped their whole life starts over again so man get some real help i can tell you from my experience man giving that thing up is hard man there's going to be days where you're flipping through the social media and you want to look up stuff and you want to see stuff and sometimes sometimes it gets the better of you i know <laughs> it does sometimes it gets the better of you man and uh i mean i just say man go to meetings get some help and go look up the stuff about the the hub industry go look up the stuff about the hub industry because the more you look up into that kind of stuff you'll realize how evil and corrupt it is and that's going to help you it really was because you were looking at the hub when you found this go look it up go see how evil the industry really is and that'll help that really will 
because you realize how evil and how terrible the people who run these companies are and all the people you're looking at that you're getting off to you're gonna realize how many of them are not for your pleasure they're actually victims right they're really people who are really not supposed to be in that life but now they're in it and they don't know a way out because once you get yourself in that it's hard to get out it's hard to go back to a normal life once you've done it for just one year and you've done it with thousands of people or let's say you've just done it with 50 people or let's just say you've done it with 40 that's still a lot of people to be going through especially people you don't know or have any intimate relationship with people who are just using your body as a as a toy men and women so yeah man go look at how bad the industry is and man that, that'll help it'll get you going on the right road and then with the help of other people and talking about it it's gonna be hard and i'll say this man and i'll be honest with you for a second if you ever want to watch this i really ever doubt this but you're gonna feel you may feel like a monster for a while you really will dude no matter even when you feel like you're as far away from it as you can be because the thoughts don't stop and like i said there's times you may slip up the thoughts are going to make you feel like a monster every time you do they're going to tell you, you know you this is who you are this is who you're always going to be you can't run from it and even when you're trying to be intimate with your wife or anything like that you still feel like a monster because you can't do the things that are normal you're so used to using fantasy in your head it's going to be hard dude but you got to keep pushing man i'm pushing for you i really do hope you get the help that you need you're not a monster you just fell victim to an industry you fell victim to to some you know i want i want to say if i if you fell into some demonic stuff man that world is so evil i can't even help but say that the people who are running it and the things the the, the, the spirit behind it is so demonic and you fell victim to it and it's everywhere dude don't don't beat yourself up you push through this and you become a better person and keep your wife off the camera please don't ever put your wife back on there to feel that pain in front of all those people that's embarrassing i'm not trying to knock you for it maybe you were trying to be good-hearted but don't put your wife in those kind of situations when you screwed up she's in the background crying that's just a bad look for her there's some things you got to keep your wife out of i know some people want to be like we do everything together i don't Sorry, me and my wife don't do everything together. I don't involve her in every decision I make. I don't involve her in every meeting I go to. I don't involve her with my addictions. I don't need to put her on display for her to sit there and talk about all the good times and bad times of where I screwed up and all the times we get through her. Like, I don't need to put her on screen and let's talk about where our marriage was great and where it failed. We don't need to do that. We can live our lives without you ever having to see her. You live your life. You decide to be a full-time streamer. Leave her out of it, man. I wish you the best, big dog. Peace.